the consequence of um, a very large grid and uh, planetary wide building little boxes everywhere is that um, food looks like this now and this has um, been left overnight and now what's happened with this is that it's breeding in the water that, and oil and I think a little bit of butter and salt and on this piece here that one I think you can see it even through my torchlight that it's busting light and it's pulsing and setting up its own field and it's generating light and particles are flicking off it and you see one just went there and that's the bright stalk and the stalk is radioactive and if this was your gut then you can appreciate that everything that goes down your digestive tract with radioactive food starts to breed out of the radioactive content. You might call that Buddhistic if you like but it's the one stage up from being hot because it's live and it is able to breed in fluids and then you can Appreciate that if you're going to eat a lot of food that's generating light, that you yourself will generate light, and that as you walk past, you will be glowing and generating a field and busting out what is seen as mainly yellow light from radioactive food. Now, we have a planet that's had a hundred years of of um, construction of a lot of buildings that are boxes that have been wired in and the consequence is that everybody has got radioactive food now. Radioactive food is not good for you. It can make you sick and it can shorten your life if you get it too much and you have too much very hot food. So we're all in the same situation with food. Uh, nobody escapes this situation because we all live on the planet together. And if you listen to Ed Sheeran's song, we do this together. We all do it together. We try to cope with radioactive food 